Many years ago in Japan, they had a law. If anyone takes something out of other people's money or cheat, if a man is caught, his finger will be cut. Secondly, if he will be caught again, another finger will be cut. And because of this, Japanese develop the virtue of honesty because they were afraid to be cut or to be punished. So this is what our Lord said. He wants us to cut the evil one in our lives. That is sin. But today, we are called to be the only Christian country in Southeast Asia. But some time ago, Philippines was number six as in corruption. President Duterte said he did not like corruption. However, if we listen to the television, the news, and read the papers, we know that there are so many problems, corruption, and they still continue to examine, investigate what is happening. And millions of money of the government is missing. So this is the problem we have. We are encouraged to stop our vices, our sins, that we may enter the kingdom of God. But unfortunately, some other people who had been gullibanting all over the place, they had developed problem of kidney, and eventually they had to be operated, transplant. But problems did not stop there. They continue to have more. So my friends, let us remember that whatever we do against God, if whatever sin we may have, we will be eventually punished. It is good for those people before they die, they say, Lord, have mercy on me, I'm a sinner. The Lord is merciful. However, we have to acknowledge and ask for His mercy. And we do, then the Lord will take care of us. Secondly, we are celebrating the Seafarer's Day and fishermen. In the Philippines, there are thousands of young and old people working as seafarers. They travel from one place to another, from one country to another. They deliver the goods, including to us, whatever we receive, imported products, so like for example, vehicles coming from Japan, from Korea, China. They arrive here in the Philippines because of our seafarers. And General Santos City is known for tuna country. If we have kinilaw, inununan, inulang isda, we have to remember these things are coming from our brothers who are fishermen. They have to travel or sail against high seas and at times they have committed problems, capsize and some of them until now cannot be retrieved. They are lost. Many years ago, there were fishermen 
because of ambak pare marami mga ambak pare at nagawan ng mga sasakyan so let us pray that our brothers our sisters who are involved in seafarers fishermen of our country will be protected from so many problems they have to encounter in the high seas so today whatever we eat as i said kinilaw inononan and name it they are coming from our brothers and sisters who are involved in fishing so let us remember that we need one another we have to pray for them many of our brothers our nephews are in the high seas traveling from one country in europe de delivering fuel and many other things so if we receive dollars and so many families are improving their standard of living because of our seafarers their loved ones who work hard to produce money and to produce food for the family and for our country.